There's something really special about cars from 1971. Even the biggest rock stars in the world love to drive them like this. 1971 SS Chevelle 454 Mickey Six from Motley Crue actually owned this very one and it will absolutely kickstart your heart with its LS5 Turbojet 454, 365 horsepower, three-speed automatic. Now, it's been through a complete no expense spared rotisserie restoration. It looks stunning with its factory correct red cranberry paint and white stripes. And the interior is all correct as well. The black bucket seats and the sweet rally gauges with the tack. And of course, AM FM 8 track, which Motley Crue, you know, they weren't around till 81, but I'm sure you could find a Crew 8 track to rock out in this. Thanks, April. And we're going to see that car. There it is, just rolling up onto the Barrett Jackson auction stage. It's Spotlight 1971. And if you're wondering why that particular year, well, that was the first year of what has become the Barrett Jackson Collector Car Auction. Yeah, here's a great car for a Motley Crue fan and a muscle car fan. 71 Chevelle with the cowl induction, beautiful restoration of a convertible. Great car. Yeah, I mean, people consider the high water mark being the 1980 year for Chevelle, but to be honest with you, 1971, not bad at all. I mean, yes, you lose the quad headlights that it had the previous year, but you've got the single right here. The body colored bar is missing, but it's still a strong front hood. You know, there's really nothing from a style perspective not to like about this. You have that rock star status and rock star pedigree right here. Here's the original window sticker. You can see the options. Total sticker, $5,891 sold in Granbury, Texas. Granberry red, the original color right there. You know, this is very cool to be able to have some, a car that's so neat in its own right, and then to be able to have that. And look at this, in addition to that original sticker, look at this, we've got a copy of the original certificate of title that was issued back in 1971. Very impressive. Well, it might be the car, it may be who owned it, but we're approaching $100,000, our first six-figure sale, potentially, on the Chevelle. I should point out, that wasn't actually the original title, that was the Nikki Six title, to make it clear that he's the one who owned it, and we just got 100 grand. Yeah, obviously, that has been restored, but it even has the original dealer tag on the back from Texas in 1971 that matched that window sticker. Wow. Boom. Our first six figure sale of the day and the auction. $100,000.